Hey everyone, my name is Nathan, and before I get started with today's video, I gotta say I'm in a bit of a predicament. This is an Indiana Jones themed video. I love Indiana Jones. In fifth grade, I dressed up as him. When I was in high school, I had a room themed after Indiana Jones. And so for this video, I wanted to go all out and display some Indiana Jones memorabilia and show some photos from my childhood, but I couldn't find the photos. And then I'm in the middle of a move right now. And so it's not really possible to display Indiana Jones things. So what I'm gonna do do is I'm gonna show them to you. <laughs> Son of a First off with this cool shirt that I got the archaeologist, and then crazy enough, the Blu-ray combo pack. I love this edition, and even when I someday buy the fifth one, I'll probably still keep this because I just love the booklet of it. I miss the days when they used to do these books for the series. And the biggest disappointment, I was gonna have these in the background. I've got Indiana Jones and Henry Jones Sr. Get a good look at them. They're not gonna be in the video from here on out. Today's theme is if you like Indiana Jones movies, you might wanna check out these Hollywood classics. I'll be giving a brief review and why they relate to Indiana Jones, and then I will press stop record, go to the library and edit this bad boy. Let's just go in order of a release date. The first one I have is The Adventures of Robin Hood from 1938. This stars Errol Flynn and Olivia de Havilland. You all know the story of Robin Hood, and so you can kind of already see why it is a movie that I wanted to include when it comes to classics compared to Indiana Jones. The story of Robin Hood isn't directly related to Indiana Jones, but it's more so the adventure that is found within this Robin Hood film that reminds me of Indiana Jones series. Errol Flynn is also a great action star, just like Harrison Ford is as Indiana Jones. There are some awesome fight scenes here, even for 1938. Plus, the costume design's great, and there are amazing set pieces, just like Indiana Jones. And so for this one, it's more so related because of the genre of film that we're watching. And plus, like Indiana Jones, there is a love interest too, and Olivia de Havilland is beautiful, so you should watch just for her. The next movie I'll be talking about comes from 1939. It is Gunga Dean. This film stars Cary Grant and it's one of the most similar films to Indiana Jones probably on this whole list. There is a deadly cult, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. There's a pit of snakes, Raiders of the Lost Ark. There's a historic temple that is visited, Temple of Doom, really every Indiana Jones movie though. And then there's plenty of combat. Like this movie is literally Indiana Jones in 1939. I think I even read somewhere that this is partially what inspired Indiana Jones. And so that's pretty cool too. The plot follows three men, one of which is Cary Grant, who are assigned a certain mission, but while they're on a mission, they find out about this deadly cult. They've been around for years. They've been getting away with murder for years and they act on that. They initially act on it because they find out that there is gold involved and Cary Grant really wants gold, but then it turns into a thing of coming into contact with this deadly cult and fighting them. And so there are a lot of indie vibes with that. And it's really neat, especially to see the ancient temple in this one, because we get such great set designs in the old Indiana Jones movies, but to see an old set design from 1939 was just really rewarding. Gunga Dean is good. My next recommendation also comes from 1939. It is Stagecoach, directed by John Ford. I decided to include this movie solely for the chase scene at the end. There is a really well done chase scene at the end of the movie involving amazing stunt doubles. Uh, I always feel so bad for the horses though. Raiders of the Lost Ark had to have been inspired by this wagon chase because it is so well done. And there's even a scene just like Raiders of the Lost Ark where someone goes under the wagon and is pulled from behind. They're not as successful as Indiana Jones was in Raiders of the Lost Ark, but it's still really cool to see. The stunts are incredible. The gunfights, it's very neat. That chase scene alone is worth watching this and getting those adventurous vibes that the Indiana Jones series give us. The next movie is one that I've also read inspired Raiders of the Lost Ark. It is 1948's The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. This stars Humphrey Bogart and it's all about treasure hunting. I mean, it's kind of in the title, but the look of Indiana Jones was inspired by Humphrey Bogart's look in this movie and I can totally see it. He looks very beaten, sweaty, you know, kind of rugged looking and that's exactly what Indiana Jones embodies in the movies he's in. It's a pretty adventurous tale too. I think it's not directly related to Indiana Jones when you look at the story. I mean, they're looking for treasure and you could say Indiana Indiana Jones was looking for treasure in the sense of he's an archaeologist trying to find hidden ancient artifacts, but he's not looking for treasure for his own gain. He's looking for treasure to put in the museum, as we all know. That belongs in a museum. The next movie I'm talking about is kind of interesting because I'm actually not even a fan of this movie, but I'm still going to include it because it has heavy Indiana Jones vibes. It is 1954's Secret of the Incas. Kind of like Humphrey Bogart, Charlton Heston dresses just like Indiana Jones, and this had to have been some sort of inspiration as well 
well, the major plot point of this movie is who's going to get to the ancient artifact worth plenty of money first. Charlton Heston is the Indiana Jones of sorts in this one. And when it comes to this movie, think of Indiana Jones, but instead of being super likable, you kind of hate him and you want him to fail in the end. That's Charlton Heston in this movie. I just had a very hard time liking him and rooting for him. I was actually rooting for Thomas Mitchell. He's definitely the villain, but I was rooting for him, which I don't know what that says about me, but that also might just be because I love Thomas Mitchell as an actor. Anyways, this has plenty of Indiana Jones vibes with the way Charlton Heston dresses, with the theme of archaeology and also the setting in general. Screams the Indiana Jones. The movie itself, though, it's not very good. All right, I'm going to kind of cheat you guys here. The next movie is 1962's Lawrence of Arabia. Now, the reason I'm going to cheat you is because I've seen this movie one time. It was probably eight or nine years ago, and I don't really remember a thing from it. However, I do remember it is very adventurous. It's in the desert, very exciting at some parts. And yeah, that's that's kind of all I got for you guys. That was totally Kyle. The final pick is 1968s. My final pick is 1966's The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, directed by Sergio Leone. The reason I decided to include this one, though it's not directly related to Indiana Jones, I think it's it goes back to that rugged look of Indiana Jones. This movie has three rugged-looking cowboys who are all after the same end goal, and just kind of that competition of who is going to get to the treasure first, that to me relates to Indiana Jones. Plus, you have Clint Eastwood, who is very likable in this movie, just like Indiana Jones, who's very likable, and you're rooting for him. They are both the good guys of their movies. They both have killer scores and they both have really clever one-liners too. I want to give one more shout out to The Five Graves of Cairo directed by Billy Wilder. This is kind of like Lawrence of Arabia. I don't remember a thing from this movie really, but I want to say there's a scene with archaeology and they fight Germans in it. Please leave your comments below on what movies remind you of the Indiana Jones series. Uh, the criteria just has to be made before 1970. That was the criteria that I stuck with for this video. And yeah, let's get some discussion going. Our favorite pre-Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones movies. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day.